Hello, my dear students. How are you today? Hope you are fine. This is Mrs. Iman Semi. Look at the screen and tell me what are we going to have today? What are we going to uh, take today? Which lesson? Yes, listening lesson. So uh, today we are going to have listening lesson. But before we start, I want you to uh, look at the vocabulary, the new vocabulary, and the definitions here. What are we going to do with them? Yes, we are going to match the definitions with the vocabulary. Okay, we have here, how many vocabulary do we have here? Yes, we have six. And how many definitions? Yes, we have six definitions. Okay, now I, I will divide the class into groups and uh, each group should answer, should match the right vocabulary to the right definition. You have six minutes to answer this. While the students are answering the questions, I'm gonna monitor and see what are they doing. If, if they need any help, I'm gonna support them and so on. Okay, six minutes are... Okay, here we are going to say the answers out loud, starting with one of the groups. For example, let it be group A. Huh? What is the answer of number one? To hand something back is... Yes, that's right. B. To give something to the person who gave it to you. For example, I will ask the students to give me examples. Um, for example, the, a person gave me a camera or something like that. And he told me, I want you to hand, to hand the camera back next Sunday. So, hand back, it means to return or to give it back. Number two, to get something. Yes, the next group would answer. Yes, the answer is to understand something. I'm gonna d discuss this expression with them too. Um, to get some, when I say, um, did you understand the lesson? So, yes, we understand it. So, or yes, we get it. So, get here means understand. That's right. Number three, have to do with. To have to do with means, I think this one is a new one. So, I think maybe they will answer it in a wrong way. If they did so, I'm going to discuss it, discuss it with them. And... Um, provide them with more information to when I say to have to do with something it means to be related or connected to for example he has got nothing to do with uh, that terrible murder or that ter terrible crime it means he's not connected to this issue okay next one to catch what someone said it means Yes, that's right. This answer for the next group, sure, for sure. To hear what someone said. Um, for example, did you catch what the teacher said? Next one, to make sense. Make sense means, yes, that's right. To be easy to understand. Um, for example, when I say it doesn't make sense, it means um, I didn't get it. It's not so clear. Um, I can't understand it. it well, uh, it's very hard to understand. Number six, to mark. I think it's easy to. It means to give a number or a letter to students' work to show how good it, it is. Uh, I think it's so easy. For example, the teacher hasn't marked the exams yet. Okay, let's move to our listening track. What can you see here? I'm gonna elicit the, the the answers from the students. One of them maybe say um, may say somebody may say um, it's a class, it's a college, it's a university, group of students, or something like that. I'm ask I will ask them to listen to the track. I will ask them to read the questions first, read the questions very well because they are going to listen to the track twice. And then answer this, these questions. Okay? Okay, let's assume they have already uh, read the questions and listen, listen to the track. This recording is from the British Council. 
Sorry. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm just... Uh, just coming to sit over, over here. Phew. Uh, hey, how's it going? So, uh, what have I missed? Nothing. It just started around five minutes ago. Uh, did he say anything about the midterm? What? About the midterm tests. Did he say anything about when he was going to hand them back? He's almost finished marking them, he said. We get them next Tuesday. I'm uh, sorry. I didn't catch that. When do... Let's assume the students have re have listened to the track and then I'm going to divide the class into groups and ask them to start to answer. I'm going to ask them to help each other. Yes. Number one, after... I will give them five minutes to answer this question. After taking the, their time, I'm going to ask them out loud to say their answers. The first group, for example, the class has started five minutes ago. Is it right or wrong? Yes, it's true. Number two, the teacher will hand back the tests next Thursday. Is it right or false? False. Yet, yeah, why it's false? Yes, because the the teacher said next Sunday, not Thursday. Next question, the next for the next group, the boys, the boy number three, the boy shares his textbook with the girl. Is it right or wrong? False too. So why it's wrong? Huh, who can answer me? Yeah, because the girl who is the one who shares the her book with the boy, not uh, the boy with the girl. Yeah. Next one, number four. The teacher is going on. The teacher is going on about search engines. Is it right or wrong? Yes, that's right. Number five. The boy thought this class was about the French Revolution. Who can answer? Which group? Yes. I will ask the group to answer. Yes, false. Why it's false? Yes, because he wants he because the boy thought it's about American Revolution, not the French one. Next one, number six. The boy is in the wrong class. Yes, that's right. Next question. I will ask the students to be divided into groups too, and ask them to uh, to answer this question. I will give them 10 minutes to do, to do this exercise and I'm going to focus on the students who didn't share in the first exercise or he, they ignored to answer or they didn't care to answer so uh, I'm going to focus on them um, number one after taking the 10 minutes I'm, I'm going to ask the students ha, first group could you answer Mazin? Mazin for example is the one who didn't answer okay could you answer he will tell me what have I missed? What have I missed? These they are supposed to rearrange these sentences. Okay, next question. Did the midterm he say anything? Number two, who can answer? For the next group, uh, Mona, for example, didn't uh, share with them, didn't join them very well, and she um, didn't care about what we have in the session so I'm gonna focus on her yes Mona could you give me the answer she, did, did he say anything about the midterm number three who can answer next group Ali for example I didn't catch that so I think this exercise is very good because it serves the first and the second uh, exercise it serves the first one because the first one is about the, vocab the new vocabulary which we find in uh, the track this exercise is about is like uh, more more practice to the uh, vocabulary number four who can answer yes next one what page are we meant to, to be on yes and number five what does CEO mean next one and so on I'm gonna do the same with the next uh, exercise right. next one I don't yes I don't get it. get it it means we said before what I mean of get it I don't get it, it means yes that's right it's I don't understand it next one 
the end the last one yes now it all makes sense that's right and we said make sense means yes easy to understand that's right super you are now as a group i want you to, to discuss uh, the classes when you don't understand something in class what do you do they will have five minutes discussion and then we are going to discuss about this issue and uh, know their opinion and all of that thank you for watching bye bye